With his head hung low, his hands and feet in shackles, Daniel Harmon Wright is brought into court for what was supposed to be his sentencing hearing. Instead, it was the jurors under oath after it was discovered two dictionaries and one thesaurus were brought into the jury room during deliberations, a violation of the judge's rules. Six jurors admitted to looking up definitions of at least one of these words, malice, malicious, or unlawful. The other six said they relied solely on the judge's written instructions. In the case of the word malice, one juror testified, we understood the definition better after reading the dictionary. It was more straightforward. Prosecutor Jim Fisher asked one juror, after getting a clearer definition of the word malice, did you reach a resolution in favor of the defendant? She responded, yes. I'm not going to get into it at this point. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to decline to comment because it's still an ongoing issue. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing everybody Friday morning. The jury foreman testified she brought the materials into the room and says she first asked a bailiff if it was okay. After Harmon Wright was brought back into jail, Sheriff Scott Jenkins told us that bailiff did nothing wrong. The judge gave specific instructions to the jurors not to bring outside resources. And if they disobeyed that, that has nothing to do with the court staff. Jeff Goldberg, News Channel 8.